I just, I'm assuming I'm going to get asked on a few guys here <laughs> out here. Landry Payne has uh, filed his paperwork to gain his sixth year. He has been cleared to practice. We're waiting to get positive word back that he'll be able to participate in games. Don't know quite yet. Uh, Jeremy Reichner got hurt yesterday. Not a season ending, but he's going to be out for a while. Don't anticipate him for the first couple of games. And then Thule, our tight end, has decided to call it a career and uh, for personal personal reasons. And so we wish him the you know the best. Great kid that way. Coach, what do you see out of your quarterback so far? You know, I think there's been some consistency of them knowing where to go with the ball. Not uh, always perfect by any reason, any stretch, but. Uh, I think they've progressed. I like what the you can tell some of the just the comfort level they've gotten over the summer even. So I think all those guys have uh, progressed. Yeah, Connor had some good good throws today. Uh, Luton's really been pretty consistent all four days. And Coletto, you can tell the jump he's made. He has really improved and you mean comfort level. So I like like those guys so far. Are you still putting stuff in, or did you get all that done in the spring offense? Uh, we are definitely putting some things in, and we're re redoing a lot of what we did in the spring, but adding to that package. And so we'll be putting stuff in for the next two and a half weeks. Overall, Coach, how would you describe the first few days of camp? Um, I think the energy's been good. You can tell difference than the spring, knowing how we practice, how we operate. They can kind of know what to expect. And so uh, that's been good. I've liked the, uh, the young guy additions. You know, I, I'm really pleased with what they've been able to do and show for the first four days. Um, that's what stands out. Has it been nice having a lot of the, all those guys back that you missed in the spring because of injuries? Yeah, especially in that secondary, you can just see the group is larger and you can practice longer. Mm -hmm. um, and those guys were chomping at the bit to get out here. And so Dwayne Williams and Jay Irvine and all these guys, it's been nice to see truly what they're like for four days. Always evaluating. We'll put some full pads on tomorrow um, and see what that looks like. Coach, how do you feel about your tight end depth with the departure of Tulis? Yeah, we'd like to have some more guys in that room. Um, we like the guys in the room, but just a higher number up guys and you know we'll always just adjust and again like the young guys up and coming they're improving we've got some guys that have played so um, we definitely like to have a few more would you ever think about moving line? I'm sorry would you ever think about moving we'll always consider line? different things uh, at this point no to the offensive line what about that uh, they seem like a pretty together group so far but they've been together yep and like i said before that that group is experienced um, and we're looking for to put the best five guys out there I think Mahalchik's doing a great job with you know tasting each guy, kind of different spots and all of that. And uh, you know we still got a few weeks to decide, but I like where that group's headed. We saw Yanni today being more as a center. I mean, do you like Yanni right now over Sumner, or kind of still just trying that out? No, I like Sumner a lot. You know, we're always looking at you're going to need a backup center for sure, and so giving him some true reps doing that. But we like him at guard as well. The defense seems to be really flying on the ball today and getting pressure on you know both the runners and the yeah. quarterback. How do you kind of feel that? Tibbs has done getting that group ready so far. Yep, uh, Tibbs is uh, really good at what he does, man. Um, he's got those guys knowing what they're doing and playing with great effort. And I think that showed up in the end of practice, the energy out of that group. And it feeds off each other. And, you know, that's how it's, fall camp's going to be. One side of the ball does a little bit better toward the end and all that. But as a group, it, uh, I think we're making progress. Where do you think Champ will, will fit in as things move? You know, the guy's dynamic, so he can do some things on special teams, offensively, moving him around, finding ways to get the ball in his hands. Uh, the other thing, I know he's undersized, but I think he's tough. He, like, he ain't scared to go put his face in there and try to block somebody, and um, so he, he's a weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially on a deep ball, I think he's a threat that way. I think he's really had a good summer, getting himself in shape. Uh, so we're looking at all those guys. With the new kickoff rules, are you practicing a little bit less? Right. As, as much time as you have uh, yeah, I wouldn't say we're practicing less. We're definitely uh, looking at some strategy, how we want to use, you know, 25 yards is 25 yards. And so coaching that up, um, but I don't think we're practicing less. Clearly you have AP at running back, but what do you see out of Rogers and Jefferson? I think those two guys have uh, kind of shown why we recruited them. You know, they're still learning. They're still, you know, they got a lot, a long way to go, but uh, I like their work ethic. Um, and they've got some athleticism. I mean, they got some similarities in their body type and their change of direction and all that. Um, so those guys have a bright future. What's your fall camp, or any practice for that matter, tackling philosophy? You want them tackling more or less? We're going to teach them to tackle and definitely tackle in practice, but it doesn't need to be the whole two hours for sure. You know, we want to have 
dips and that, but I think it's important to really teach them proper technique, do some drills on doing it. Mm -hmm. And then they need to do it live. I mean, they need to tackle each other. And so that's kind of the process we've done these last four days. And then as we get into full pads, we'll sprinkle in some live. We'll have some live scrimmages throughout camp, but we're not doing it nonstop. We do, really within the next day or two, dealing uh, a little bit with a hamstring. Is Noah any closer to? You know, he has. Early in practice, he's, he's uh, done some stuff. He's done a little bit more each day. And so we're we're hopeful in the next few days he'll be able to go the whole time. What, what's your philosophy on when you release a depth chart? Is that down the road? And, you know, right. You know, first game or what, what is it? it's going to be down the road for sure because we're going to let these guys compete throughout. Um, I don't think that when the depth heart act finally comes out, it'll be any shock to anybody around here. But uh, we're in no rush. How about making a decision on a quarterback? Same thing. Like, we're just not into like having to set a timetable for us. It's just letting this play out for a while. And because the guys are going to have some ups and downs, I, we'd like to narrow the thing probably in the middle of camp, ideally, and then make a decision when we're ready to make a decision. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yep.